Hey, so be encouraged by these words from Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7 that say this, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Wow, what great, powerful words. I mean, do you ever get stressed? Stress can be a good thing, right? But not if we allow it to take up residence. It's what you do with the stress that makes all the difference. I mean, controlled stress can actually help us to accomplish great things. A little stress can leverage you towards change. Philippians 4 says never be anxious. Don't live stressed because worry and stress can impact good health. A relative of mine is a forestry consultant and he specializes in insects and their impact on trees. In a recent conversation he was explaining when, the, when there's stress in a group of trees, the bugs move in. In the world of forestry, it's known that some bugs won't even bother trees unless they are under severe stress from drought or bad weather or pollution or other negative factors. So bugs attack unhealthy, stressed trees. I'm thinking of Psalm 1 that gives a picture of believers who are by streams of, of water, trees that are bearing fruit, healthy, stress-free trees. I mean, being spiritually unhealthy is really an invitation to predators from the kingdom of darkness who will grab every opportunity we give them. The Holy Spirit enables us to diagnose unhealthy patterns from mismanaged stress. We really can present everything to God in prayer. And peace by streams of water flows with the truth that Jesus is near. Worship with gratitude in everything, rejoicing with gentleness. Well, that's good for us. And it's contagious, and it glorifies God. So I hope that you're finding reasons to rejoice today.